Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Kunza Call series, the Pannonian of our series here on the Lord Master channel. It's still ongoing. We're still keeping this series going for, gee, I don't know for how long, um, until I come up with some idea for another Crusader Kings 3 series, but there always could be another series abroad coming up, but I can't guarantee everything as I often say myself. But uh, one thing is for certain though, the year is 1053, and you know what that means. We could form a hybrid culture with the Greeks, calling it greco randonite Avar, despite the Avar culture is still lingering around in some areas, but um, however, um, that means it's also time to decide what form of traditions should I pick and choose, uh, even though I mostly retain some of the ones I already like and adopt none of theirs, well, one would assume, but um, I, but as I often say, which has become my, I don't know, it's become a verbal tick of mine, and that is, I can't guarantee everything. And so now, which again, I tend to keep that series going for... I don't know, at least another month or so before I will get, you know, complacent and decide to um, start a new one, especially with some of the other mods that I'd like to use. Especially whichever future updates are coming for one of the mods I plan to use and will implement that and all that. But I'm not going to tell you when and where. I may never know that I'll also go back to CK2 to do another video series of a thing that I have never ever done before in terms of playstyle and all that. But of course, that's just me rambling, me being a, a me thing more than anything else. But anyways, so let's form that hybrid culture right now because we have got a lot of acceptance, especially that we become more focused on local development here. So, it will be referred to as greco randonite Avar. And then eventually maybe I should diverge from greco randonite Avar and call it Carpathian or something. So... Okay, it's a good thing that we have these. So... Here's what we already have for the early medieval technology. As we need three more. And we're gonna get a few more. So... One for certain. We already have household soldiers, hereditary rule, chronicle writing, and bailiffs. That's one thing. And currently I have a fascination for royal prerogative, which will take 11 years, which I'll be around at that time. Hopefully. Keyword, hopefully. And, uh,. What do the Greeks have? They have, uh, although we will discover five of their innovations, including horseshoes, arch saddle, manorialism, communal government, and coinage. We do not have coinage yet. And they're about to get bailiffs too, as we were already ahead of time with that. As well as a few other things from that we'll have to get fascinations for. As we know that the Greeks are on their way to the high medieval era and we want to catch up. And with only this time, we're going to be on their level in terms of technological advances and all that with the innovations. So as for this new hybrid culture, we will replace egalitarian to bureaucratic. No culture lasts longer than its oldest record. And this culture believes in accounting so meticulously as to guarantee them mortality. This will add much more development growth in all the counties around here as we will form that culture as well as have a little bit of a monthly lifestyle experience and especially that this is far more desirable for me and that is cultural fascination progress. Again, we want to be on the same league as the Greek. Still keeping the Turkic heritage and the, or the language as the native language. We're not speaking Greek here. We love our language because it is an ancient language and we will continue to 
be speaking that until till the, till the end of that series. Yes. Now, let me uh, remove all the selected ones so that way I can think and pick. Okay. And you know how much I love my horse archery. So I'm keeping horse lords, no doubt. And I like the horse breeders. Again, this culture blending had its has its uses with the whole create more hybrid cultures, and I think this will be the last time I'll do it in this series. Because I've always wanted a hybrid in Greek, and then you got it. And the culture acceptance game would be reduced. But the learning languages, ah, uh, you don't worry about that. I still really love the recognition of talent, although I haven't paying any attention to courtiers. Now, when we start saving our money, we need to get better knights. Because we've been on the offensive lately, and our men aren't as performing as good as they used to be, because of most of our knights tend to be vassals rather than actual talented fighting men. Oh, well, that doesn't do well, as we are a cavalry intensive army. Legalistic is law cost penalty from the realm size. Just as more common, it has additional bonuses. Well, I like having dread. And, and uh. Reduced levy size and reinforcement rate. While reducing men at arms maintenance. We've always had trouble with the maintenance of men at arms as a late. Right? Only because that's from our cavalry mainly. And you can recruit cataphracts of very good heavy cavalry, which would be a real killers here. <laughs> we love our horses. Visiting traditions, this is Blind and castrate prisoners. Having a eunuch is additional bonus, and you can appoint the chief eunuch court position if there are any you got. Physically disfigured and infertile claimants cannot press their claims against rules of this culture. Children born to a ruler holding the Byzantine Empire may gain the born in purple trait, taking precedence in line of succession. Just because we use Greek as a court language doesn't mean we have to. Go with their traditions. Ours is not really a hilly country except in parts of Croatia and Bosnia Herzegovina and certain parts of uh, Transylvania. They tend to be a hilly country, there's no re need for hill dwellers. I'm definitely keeping this because of monthly learning and lifestyle experience, especially with the Fascination progress when you're a scholar. I think it's hard you're going to be the same. While I'm keeping this one thing that's adapted from the Radonites. Knight effectiveness is fine, and the number of knights we have doesn't really uh, concern me if we make it up with. Okay, look. I'm keeping this shield maintenance thing, because I know there is less opportunity of that happening, but. Look, get better knights from invite knights decision will make up for the lack of number of knights unless you have a higher level of fame which will give you more knights to make up for it if, if it's not affecting this, especially if you are a martial oriented ruler, especially that one that's educated, or you go for chivalry to get the king's guard and increase the number of knights, that will make up for it. But I'm kind of not sure if I really want to ditch culture buying, but it's... I mean, learning languages is fine and all that, but the... Cultural acceptance gain. I mean, think about those many minorities you have here. Plus, you could learn more languages one at a time. Unless you're a very well-learned character, which... Which, thankfully, I think that philosophy culture will kind of make up for the lack of learn language scheme power. And you don't need to learn it multiple times, just only certain ones, so... 
If I was to pick one, coming from them, I'm gonna have to go with Eastern Roman Legacy. So it just shows that a professional army is favored over levied troops, reducing our levy size. I mean, look at us. We have so many levies, while well, we got plenty of men in ours, but reducing the levy size just a little bit, and we'll make it up for it with um, the max size of heavy infantry regiments or heavy cavalry regiments. So we may have to consider introducing cataphracts and uh, armored footmen in future to complement with the archer cavalry. And plus, reduced maintenance for heavy cavalry in addition and in arms in general. Oh, and let's not forget the aesthetics. Still keeping the Avar names. Thinking about using both rather than either Byzantine or Mongolian. And I think I'd rather use both just to show that it's like, hey, it's the it's going to be the high medieval era, and due to the Eastern European influence, especially with being next to the Greeks, adopt the Greeks, we'll only adopt some aspect of the Greek. The fashion, mostly. Because they got some good looking clothes that would look good on us. Um, but of course hairstyles may change. But we're still keeping our names. But I think about the for military equipment's concern. Again, you are surrounded by many other Eastern European cultures, so I think you should go for Eastern European instead of Mongolian. It kind of makes it look like how the, you know, how the Magyar or Mogia culture became the Hungarians and they changed their looks too. But the architecture will reign Eurasian step because that's where we live in the middle of land and no other cultures disturbed it. And we'll pick up one more tradition once you're in a high medieval era and we'll figure out which. Or you maybe never know when we'll get this back. Everyone will accept this conversion. Even the ones that dislike me will convert. But we're only going to refer to it as Greco Radonine Avar rather than Greco Avar. The only Radonite thing about us is the philosopher culture. And a hundred years from now, in 1153, we will diverge our culture in that and can come up with a new name just to erase that entirely. And just to avoid confusion with the color of Brandon Ivar, it, no, it should be um, darker green. There you go. Just a distinct from that green you see there. And with that, let's begin this new era. Spurred on to positive relations and increased cultural exchange, the Greek and Avar peoples have grown increasingly close over the years. Now individuals from these societies have begun to view themselves as not one or the other, but as both simultaneously. A new greco radonite of our culture. The Radonite of our traditions and values form the backbone of this new culture, while various Greek attributes have been adapted and integrated to meet the needs of their new society. With the greco radonite of our people now looking to me for guidance, it is time to set the stage for our shared future. To a new age, a new era, and new people, and would you look at me? Look at myself! Red clothing and all that worthy of a Kagan. We're still using that title because we're still using out of our names.
There you go. Much better. Darker green, as I stated before. Just a distinct from the old and Radonadavar. Not greco Radonadavar. I only chose a name because I'm not that creative. I'm not that clever for such names. But only in a heart. We're trying to develop our capital here. Yes. Culture is now fashioned by the bird's innovation. Now it's going to take us eight years to reach high medieval. This is the one we're exposed to. And we'll get this in 16 months. Okay, focus on that and then get back to Royal Prerogative, which is what we're supposed to get. And yes, the size of our levies reduced, but not to, but not to, to greedy. And there's also another question regarding all this. Okay, now on to the uh, the question of succession, because I thought about this for some time, and that is, who do I want as successor? Yeah, which, quite honestly, um, as much as I'd like to be Bagator, but he's a murderer. So his bad reputation could be bad whenever he takes the throne. And that means there will be civil war. Akko is too nice to Craven. As much as he's a genius, but she has no children as of yet. And that's rather precarious. Tiradin, which... I don't like him because he lacks the genius trait, but his granddaughter does, uh, his daughter does. And is into the intrigue education. I've been cogitating on this, and that's what I've been thinking. I am probably not going to like this idea, but this is probably going to be the first and only time that I would do this. We're going to have feudal elective. Yes, it'll be an elective monarchy. A ruler in all direct digital vassals of one or two ranks below town can nominate title heir amongst themselves uh, and a close family of the ruler. Hmm. Kind of ideal, but I just thought of something. But it's still going to require some disinheritance in terms of qualifications and whatnot. So we're implementing that law, and I urge you people to vote I was about to say, is granddaughter not available? I mean, they're related to one another. <laughs> But it does include people out of dynasty, so go for Tiradin, which he and disinherit the other. There you go. It's one way to do it. So that way he'll get everything. I mean, sure, he's lost on all that. But remember, that means you have a lot of electors. You got 11 electors. And if you got hooks on them, you better force the vote. Or we're going to start using the fabricate for hook scheme. Even though I'm honest, but I'm ready to take whatever stress there is.
because I could fabricate. So that way, we can uh, vote for, you know, him and through him, granddaughter. That's that. Can't vote for your granddaughter directly. Or maybe it's because she is uh, not yet an adult. But at least she seems like a nicer person. But unfortunately she's generous. <laughs> but she's still a genius. She'll be into intrigue. So if I were you, um, two things. One, someone who's very good at intrigue. Your mother, and maybe you gotta study one of the languages that's rather important around here. Especially several Croatian. Because Croatians and Bosnians are becoming a sizable minor minority as we expand down there. And as, and as soon as the truce against Serbia is over, then we will have. Years. Shadows walked by my side for many years, and the passage of time does not spare dogs. As I kneel beside him, he starts for his tail slowly, but he cannot raise his head. I serve him long in the night, petting his black back until the tail stills. Well, let me pet you one more time. So, yeah, yeah, just petting him one more time. Or, you know, he passes on. And unfortunately, he cannot adopt any more puppies because that whole modifier he used to have has now expired. And without that dog, it just won't be as healthy. Yeah. So, what do the electors say? Will you vote for my son? Or someone else? If anybody doesn't vote for my son, then, uh... Yes, we got 18. One votes for himself, another some guy, and another some guy. Now, oh, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Yesterday's meal. I was having a pleasant, if vapid chat with Vesperic about the mundane matters. The conversation drifted to the topic of our favorite foods. He asked me, what was the last meal you ate yesterday? I had a delicious meal, I say with confidence. It was wonderful. Hmm, wait now, what was it again? I stand there awkward a few seconds trying to remember what what exactly I ate. In the end, I gave up and we talked about other things. For the rest of the day, though, I racked my brain trying to remember, but to no avail. It was only a day ago. My memory can't be that bad. Take a drink. Mm -hmm. Yes, we wear Greek clothing. Only some of the old ones still wear the old clothes. Because that's who we are. All because of that Greco Eastern European influence. Also, one second. Let me have a look again on candidates of choice. Yeah, I believe you would have to be an eligible adult to be considered votes, right? And yet compare that to... Well, they're all children at this point. You got it. That's what I was trying to do. I'm trying to vote for granddaughter to take it. We're only using elective monarchy because we're trying to be smart here on succession. Because I do not have the capability to, well, to get raw prerogative. 
kind of exposed to that rather than the other. Once day drinking, it's my nephew. The drunken antics of my nephew Bulger, or, uh, or Bulger, has been a subject of court gossip before. My lady seems to have taken a whole new level. Getting drunk by mid morning, passing out in the castle courtyard, stumbling to a tavern in the afternoon, and waking up in the stables of a hangover the next day. His degenerate behavior is embarrassing to all who reside in Visegrad. Oh, good God. Imprison my nephew. He's not worth answering. He's got negative money. A stern talking to will set him straight. He ought to give up drinking. Thank you very much. Wish I could do that to all the other characters. And just for preparation of that eventuality, if I do vote for my granddaughter, I can force the votes if they don't approve. While some others, like this one, will take some more convincing. I know this go against me, but I have less stress gain these days. So I'm start fabricating for hooks, and you are going to help me with that. To support such a scheme. I'm going to be doing that a lot. Get hooks out of people. My daughter Echo's giving birth to a son. Herculean and intelligent. <laughs> Man. I would have loved to vote for him, but it's kinda too late this time. Karaton will be his name. Ah. Sorry, it's just that burp earlier. Somebody has to come back up. Swaying is another way to convince the electors. I have not done an elective monarchy playthrough since the Bosnian series early on. Gotta start swaying you, despite the fact that you're one of the old Tengrists. You are still with us. Oh! He just passed away. And, uh... Who is his successor? Still serves under me. Imprisoned by someone else. Ah, I see. Took me a while to figure it out. Okay, we got that. Our world prerogative, we'll get that in seven years' time. We're not quite in the early high medieval yet, but it'll be seven years. Katyarika is 16 years old. She has flamboyant tricksters. That just ups our intrigue a little bit. I'll have the monthly intrigue lifestyle experience, but she's still a genius. And has warlike courtier. There's a reason why I kind of want her to lead the Cognate. She does have the martial skill to be somewhat of a competent general, in addition to being a lord of intrigue and all that. I can see her doing such things. Is it possible? No. That means we're still gonna vote for him. Which in turn is a vote for a granddaughter. And how much is it to, say, abolish an elective monarchy, remove law, kill it, cost that lot of prestige? What? I thought she likes me, but she wants to kill me. 
Wanted to murder me, huh? It is a well-known fact that courtiers will scheme and plot. I'm able to, use, able to use this to my advantage. If I can keep the courtiers suspicious of each other and distract them with infighting, they will not have the time or resources to scheme against me. As long as I place some spies among them, I will be safe. So apparently you cannot vote for your granddaughter. You can either vote for your daughter or son and heir. You can vote for your sister, but you can't vote for granddaughter. Okay then. So that means we're gonna vote for that man. And then whenever he passes, even though he's temperate, which means he'll be around for a little while, him being a man of learning. We need those resources for the troops. If one small village in here has to starve, the heated argument between my councils falls me out of room and all of representatives. Great to retired eyes I approach. Your this decree will force them to leave you alone. But what if I just screw these people over and just vote for, uh, no, no, the real question is prestige. Because it costs that much prestige, 1500 prestige to get rid of the elected monarchy and we're only using that to, it's like I would rather vote for her because she's elderly, doesn't get to rule for a long time, and then that's it. Plus, she's a genius, too. Like mother, like daughter, you know? It's that kind of idea. So I could vote for either Tyrion or Mala. But knowing that I live a pretty healthy, healthy lifestyle, that um, we're going to be around for a while. So that's why I think it should be with Tiridin. There's no other way. Plus, I found out that if you, I were to disinherit every single one of them here, and it's going to mess with the line of successors all. So it has to go to Tyrodin, which in turn abolished the elected monarchy, and then you go for Katyarika as the first female ruler in the future. That's what I see. Do guess there's something I do, but it seems lucky for me, I don't have to be quite as creative on how to get him in my grip. All I have to do is to let him know what I know. In fact, what he doesn't know could fill a book. You will have that hook for 10 years. For future use. So you got one elector. Just look at it one more time. No granddaughter. So that's one. Thirty one years old, he'll be around for long. I also forgot you could steal artifacts instead of just make them yourself and all that. Let's do another. I don't care how stressed I can get.
Yes, we know. There's a warlike courtier. Stick around and it shall be a valued warlike courtier. I mean, I never had it in my lifetime, just only warlike. Whereas him is valued warlike, which reduces the mana of Zane's and monthly martial. That's another reason why I think she's perfectly qualified in my personal opinion. Just based on the stats alone. And she'll pick up valued warlike, so she'll have some degree of combat experience to handle herself. I see her as a warrior cartoon. That's what I see her in the future. She does know Sober Croatian. She doesn't have the what it takes to be a shield maiden. My sister just drank herself to death. I would have loved her to see her to become a shield maiden, but that's that's wishful thinking. Thought she was a member of the council, but no, she never would know it was one. You're thinking of court positions. She was your court tutor. Ooh, let my daughter handle that. Five years. So 1061. The greco radonite of our culture will be in the high medieval era, but we're still going to get a few more of this. Man, for God's sakes, how did you not have this? But we do have the maximum existing penalty at 35. Yeah, Duke Hormis' sister, Giuseppe, has been unusually forthcoming, even knowing that well, I have entirely pure attentions for a courtesy. She is more willing to answer my questions. Does he have any particular weak spots that you know about? idea. Now we're getting a monthly growth development really fast. And this is the one I want the most. Military academies. Dedicated facilities for training officers and knights. Improving their efficiency in combat. Reduces the army gold maintenance more while increasing the number of knights to make up for the idea of possibly having shield maidens. That's the reason why I chose that. So we go for military schools. Aspiring officers are fitted based on merit in the military school. Naturally, the school only accepts students of the noble privilege. Again, go get everything. Lines about legacy. Oh, the heritage of a Kagan. The mightiest men must leave this earth, no matter what realms they've given at birth. It is rare enough for men to admit that their deeds, those left have to split. So far, I kept my thoughts to myself, but the birds grew too dramatic to north much longer. Apparently, that jester knows poetry, huh? I could see this truly hard felt. Organa to Organa. I could feel it in my very bones. Death will come for me soon, like an old friend. He is patiently waiting to receive me. I will be dead within a year. Okay, I've been received a warning that I will indeed die next year. And it's all because of this. When death and natural causes one year, you will receive a warning. 
Well, so I um, should get my affairs in order. What if? Like, what if if we have a, uh, if I were to choose, you know, uh, what the hell's her name? Mala. Because her health is fine, but she would have a shorter reign. But she would be a woman of intrigue, meaning plots against her, nobody will touch her. Compare that with Tyridin, who doesn't have much intrigue and lacks stewardship. Whereas she does have some stewardship. Oh. And knowing that she's in Lucifer's house, so she's very familiar with these things. The only flaw of that that she's so cynical and she is sadistic. Oh, don't worry, she won't inherit all that money. And she will use that prestige to abolish the elective monarchy. And she'll have a shorter reign. And then the reign of uh, Katyarika would begin. Sooner rather than later. But remember, you got one year. So you better finish with that uh, fabricate the hook scheme. Within a year. Key word. Within. No, because I'll be dead soon. And good. Save up some money. each month. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Big jump. She hasn't picked up Valued Warlike Courtier yet. But I know she has that. Uh, what month were you born? February. Doesn't matter anymore. Seven months crud. We gotta use those hooks now. No, wait till January. Please be patient. Who's in prison, by the way? Good God. Oh, nourished and all that. Oh, I feel sorry. I am very, very sorry. Let me recruit both of you. Not one is going to get out of here without recruiting. Oops. Okay, 1058 will be the year that I pass. Oh, there's this old mighty Coggin. 67 years old, not too shabby. At least that levy desertions thing will go away. Oh, we're not gonna get that hook. This is going to ruffle some feathers. I want you to vote for my niece here because there's a good reason for it. Well, her health is fine, but her rules expect it to be short. I know the rank is three. You won't vote for her. Only very few do. I mean, one is willing, barely, but I got to force that vote. Force that vote. You too. You're a powerful elector. And
and making damn sure. And you too. Just to make damn sure. So we will have our first female ruler, which is the elderly Mala. Um, which is a spy master, but she will use her intrigue just to protect herself very well. <laughs> and then in turn, Katyarika will begin a rule as a youthful woman who will be a woman of war and intrigue. Mostly intrigue. She's got the best skills out of all of us. That's why I chose Anissa over you, so don't apologize. I did what I could, so. So, very well. Keep the Empire together, Mala. They may not like you because you're a woman. Because they've never seen a female ruler before. Now it's time for me to be with the Lord. But first, bloom in the wilderness. For the third night in a row, I'm sitting at the same table, at the same inn. And has an excellent view of the bar, and the captivating bar made behind it. My daydream is interrupted when my niece, Mala, slams her ticket down to me. I have seen you gawking at Sylvia all night, she whispers a sly smile. I do not blame you. She is a thoughtful woman. Want me to make the introductions? Heir to the Kunza called Kagan. Kagane? Oh, I just realized something. Oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. It's an idea. We'll figure that out. Because I was about to say, hey, guys, what about the continent of Pannonia? You won't have much more more land to stand. Oh, don't worry. There are ways. Just shut your mouth, all right? Anyways, um, well, knowing I am living on my last days. So, Tiradin will be holding all the land. While Mala will be the Khatun. He will be a Khan. And, uh, and her at 60. I think she's got a plan. So, I would just say this knowing that this is going to be the last day of my life. This beautiful woman. I want to do this myself, and I'll be able to decide how to proceed. I've seen uh, Savile turn down more events than I can count, a lesser man would be intimidated. But I happily taken the opportunity to study their mistakes. I am ready. Our conversation flows smoothly, and I did not expect to have so much in common with the barmaid. As I get up to leave, she puts her hand on my arm and asks if I want a room for a night. A room for two, judging by the look in her eyes. Just for the night? How about every night? I'm going to spend every night of my life laying with you. <laughs> yeah. That's the way to go out. Here it comes. I'm applauding. <laughs> what a way to go. Oh. <sighs> Kagan Kurt of the Kunzakal Kaganate has abandoned his immortal claw at the 67 years of age. He died of old age. Known to be a respected scholar, he spent most of his days studying in his library, rarely leaving his castle. Katun Mala ascends to the throne. Some fear that accession of oil in the throne might be a symptom of uncertain times to come, especially someone who is elderly. Now, March 6th is the day he passed, spent his last few nights with his lover. He was the culture head of a brand new culture. He was dreaded, exalted on the of virtue. He was avaricious, a scholar, and said the whole of body. He fought in plenty of wars, but those wars of, of the finishing the expansion of Bosnia Herzegovina will be put on hold. Especially that we're in a rather precarious situation right now. Where 
where she only has one title. She lives in Visegrad, but the real power is Kagan Tiridin, cousin and head to the Empire. One sec. With the passing of my uncle, Kagan Kurt, the responsibility to lead the vast Kagan now falls upon my shoulders. I stand before my vassals with just my new crown and smile coldly. All the things I will accomplish. Long live the cartoon. So she is the heir of everything. Uh huh. And he is a scholar in his own right, too. Whereas I'm more of a seductress. At least back in my day. Oh, good God, no. Good heavens, no. Let me adjust that here. Okay, let's understand the situation here. So, yes, we phone alliance then. Yes, all these um, court artifacts, you know them very well. Yes. And, uh, of course, we know the inventory. Especially some of the old things that don't need to be there anymore. And plus, that was a big stress game. Council is empty. Gotta appoint some powerful vassals. Because I know they're going against me. What languages do I know? Oh god, Greek. Well, I gotta learn Silver Croatian in my free time. So yes, Kagan Tiridin may be the real power behind the throne, but we are vulnerable. Recently expanded down to Vidim, recently. Uh, whilst we weren't paying attention. So, Croatia's busy with a big ol' Liberty War, and also ally, helping out an ally of theirs. But on my first days, um, except for some bonding, our cartoon is truly generous, so this for a, just taste this spectacular roast swan, uh, he exclaims lyrically. Yes, indeed. Lady Mala's most benevolent. Much like this apple tart, he responds enthusiastically. It seems spending on lavish meals made new friendship blossom. Well, I need to get rid of some stress immediately. So, mind if I join for some fresh quail? Mm -hmm. so they become friends. Not to mention we're losing money big time, because I do not have all the land that I used to. But, that can be arranged. What's the guy to take to murder? Is my lover. Well, not anymore, he ain't. Breaking up with him. It's a sign, one would think. Okay, step one, break up with him. A plot to murder is step two. But, we could do better. Reset those perks. I don't need to be a seductress anymore. Because that was just what she did in her younger years. That's why those two were lovers. Even before they were married, they were lovers. And then they got married. Because Cog and Kurt said so. So. Yes. Here we set. Go to Skullduggery. Need a murder scheme power. Disrupt schemes. You can abduct. You can do two schemes. And then ultimately you become the schemer, adding even more intrigue and hostile scheme power. We're gonna kill my husband. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill.
kill my husband. And since you got still six remaining. Removes the incestuous penalty. Ah, so that's why my daughter isn't an inbred. The incestuous lovers we were, but we didn't that one did not pick up inbreeding trait. One would think that we got superior genetics, but no, it's because of her in her younger years when she was a seductress. But I think honestly she'd also should also be dreadful. Dark insights. Thriving in chaos. Just to add a little bit more of everything. You do not lose piety or clergy opinion from torturing and executing others. Mouse implicit and a fear tax as well. Yeah, I might as well be a torturer. And finally, we are abolishing the elective monarchy. Just because we do know, as far as we're concerned, that in the line of succession, after Tyridon, it will be my daughter. Our daughter. Katyarka. And I may not rule for long, but I'm just only... Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna get rid of him. And nobody can bring me down should there be anybody that tries to assassinate me, because I will know it. You see that scheme, Discovery Chance? I will know what's going on here. We gotta bring him down, and then... Okay, that's another step. Get rid of the elective monarchy. And Katyarika is the new heir. She will inherit everything. So that means he's not the heir. No, she is. And only her. And I'm only bringing him down because he is a powerful vassal. Well, she will have all the titles to herself. And then I will just be... Um, one would think I would be in the role of Master Manipulator. I mean, I don't have a hook on her. I mean, I should. Should fabricate a hook. So that way she can only listen to me. <laughs> you could say she may have all the, the power, especially to having her on our side when she has Pannonia. And then, then I will be the... You could say I'm the woman behind the... the well, one would think, right? Anyways, you may dismiss me because of a couple of other things. I'll sway you. And we gotta start collecting taxes again. Gotta start getting that up again. There'll be no one to stop us this time. Let's get going. Lately, it feels like I've been constantly distracted by vivacious thoughts and erotic fantasies. Of all the hardships in my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself with daydreams and forget about reality. These desires uh, are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? Huh! Ah, become an historian! You know, an historian is that we consider it as hostile, then that makes us a target. And a patriarch's name is Mani? No, that's Manj, not Mani. You're thinking of the founder of, you know, <laughs> the founder of Manichaeism. Thessalonica. We'd be at war with them one day. I must have questioned myself to avoid temptation. I'll become reclusive. Sounds about right about her. An alliance deal. 
those guys? Gee, I don't know. But I'm still quite stressed. But I will kill my husband and cousin. Yeah, by the way, he's not only my cousin, but also my husband. A husband and a cousin. It's been well established. Those levies will start going up sooner or later. Lady in waiting. A lady in waiting is an assistant and a companion to a queen or an empress, tending to every need and fulfilling every whim. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, these are equivalent of bodyguards, I see. Something like that. No, that's common. This is royal. Katyarka shall be my lady in waiting. Oh, I just thought of something, but I think I may have to stall it, so. I've given this position to you and to sister. Now, don't spend it too much. For God's sakes, you know all that money's going down. We'd be in debt soon. But we gotta get to the Patriarch um, endorsing us. So, he'll be looking at us a little more favorably. Again, Kurt chose me. I'm just fulfilling um, Uncle's future plan. My grandfather, you know. My agents have made contact with Ontag. A servant in my daughter and heir's castle. But the Ryan said she's willing to start some whispers about the Katyarga not being nearly as stately as she seems. A sympathetic ear to her is close enough. You will learn the cold hard reality of life. And who's that you married? Asami? Strong, but that's not inheritable. I never approve of this. Tiradin must pay. But I'm glad it's a matrilineal marriage, but... The man is a bisexual. Which I have no problem with that. It's just my problem with that is, out of all the people, they... Tiradin married a knight. My knight. Evil black guard. Now that man, he's dangerous. I gotta get rid of him too, once we get rid of my husband. But I think I may be prematurely trying to kill him. But I think I may want to stall that a bit. Like all Orthodox, my husband, Kagatiridin, Shares more with God, by extension with Kondach, than he shares with most mortals. If only I could get the Patriarch to relay some of Kagaturid's fears and plans to me. But according to God, this is a pious context, he refuses. How dare you! Highest hindrance. I'm trying to get there. I'm not gonna give him a gift because you see all that money that's going down? Expenses to four positions and amenities. What do you know? What are you gonna do about it? Omertag approaches me, shoving from foot to foot. My lady, I've heard that you are studying the Serbo Croatian language. My father was a merchant, um, and he could learn any language in no time, he says. The secrets are in this manual. I have no use for it. I cannot read. 
I part of a reasonable sum. Poppycock. Get out of here, Sartan. I don't need that. Thoroughly informed. The serving staff of a court is often conveniently overlooked as they overhear conversations. Clean up and move unnoticed through the hallways. It is also the case of my husband, Kaga Tiernan's court, which presents the opportunity. Informants. Informants could give me invaluable information, but they're also amateurs, all the risk and implies. No, the risk is too great. I cannot put my trust in such people. No, because you'll screw it up. I don't want to be that kind of person that just came as a... Got to be patient with this. My agents have scheduled a journey for Kagatir and shall take him to the Dark Woods. All that is missing is a band of thugs that will tragically slay him. Uh, and the Pyro robbery gone wrong. I can't even imagine. Let's see what the Dark saw. She doesn't have it yet. I want to wait for that. This is not the right moment. The plot is sound, but I am stalling for time. So she can pick up the Valley Dwarlike Courtier, and then... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've started a series of vicious rumors against Katliarica. None of them are true. Someone should decry them as obvious as they are. What better way for that someone to have Katliarica in their depth? I must stand up to this injustice. My priest isn't going to like this. Um, so, we'll get a strong hook out of her, so loyalty. You may not try to fabricate hooks at your court again for five years. Oh, that's all right, because, as I said, as much as she's a lovely daughter, lady-in-waiting, but... Remember, I'm the one who's pulling the strings around here. I got you now. You might resent me for that. <laughs> Which again, a bit of a sadistic person. But I am still waiting for her to pick up the curtsy when she turns 21 years old. And then she'll have that trait. So I gotta keep pushing back the schedule of the of the murder plot. But nevertheless, after lots of hard work, I finally learned several Croatian. So. I'll just have feel accomplished. That's all. Pay your homage to me. Some money. Thank you very much. Not now. Push it back another five months. I may reduce the cost of the uh, court amenities in a bit. As soon as she picks up valued warlike courtier. It's like we're trying to improve her. Need more time to prepare? Gotta buy more time. Shoot. You can be convinced again. Now he starts endorsing me, but obviously it's not enough. Now, here's the reality of things. Of who controls what here inside of this um, empire. He is the one that runs most of the vassals. That's where he gets most of the income from. He dreamt of a cursed future. Oh, that's good to know. Again, still in my court of Instagram and not over in, uh, where does he live? In? 
Komarov. Your agent may be removed, but I am going to keep pushing back. As I'm heading for my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle in the wind. Just as a wind, I think, till the wind starts to speak. Bo's chin, open up my pedal. It is I, tear it in. I push the shadows open, and lo and behold, a man has climbed up to Bo's chin. It's my husband, Kong and Tyr. Why did you just call my cousin, you skirt chaser? Not now. Please. Wait until the lady in waiting receives again. Has spent last five years compared to myself who spent five years in a truly grand warlike court. Is it grand? Still is. Again, I'm just looking. Actually, you could look that up. Or like Cartier Trait. Which is actually for bureaucratic. Here it is. It's Granger level 8. This will live in Oracle 5. He's getting more powerful. Simply for the sake of it, we're going to have to reduce the, um, the cost of everything. That should be good enough, and we'll be locked in the next 12 months. So we're just reducing the cost for now. Forever infamous. The mayor of Srebrenica no longer part of the plot. Can be convinced. Oh my goodness! Oh, no wonder. No, never mind. It's, you're thinking of another person. I mean, he is the spy master. But I tell you what. Fabricate a hook over there. Still no. He knows too much. And also I gotta get rid of this man soon. Because he is a danger. Because that man is an evil blackguard. I still await her to pick up valued warlike courtier, and then she will have a trait, and then we're moving on to murder. A wide variety of venomous critters greets me in a merchant stall. I'm struck by inspiration. Wouldn't one of these exquisite creatures be the perfect gift for him? Huh! For added learning. One of your deadly most interesting ones, please. Uh, the merchant place snagged a woman basket with no questions asked. On my way home, I open the lid, but to my surprise, I find it empty. Look, Mom, the woman's bouncing a creature on her head. The live voice rings up behind me. Turn around to see that crowd's going. Ta da! Now get it off, get it off. I lost the creature, but I didn't. Lose my life. Huh. Don't even think about spending such things. And it's a wonder why we're not holding court at this time. Oh, thank you for the additional taxes to keep us going. Do not keep it pushing it back. Look, she picked it up when she was 16. How long is it going to take for her to get an improved version of that? When did my rule begin exactly? 58. 
Oh god, does that mean we're gonna keep pushing it back and back and back until then? My husband, Professor Lude Small. I would appreciate it if we could negotiate my contract with Khatun. Any improvement would, of course, be met with enthusiasm from the treasure of my lands. You'll find no deal here. That old tapestry. Nah, that's too expensive as well. Getting rid of all the old stuff. Oh, joined in on the murder plot. Thank you. Guess you had a disagreement with him. But still, my intrigue is so high that, um... In fact, compare that to my husband's. Since he only has some chance of discovering it. My culture has joined the high medieval era. New innovations are available. He has something to hide, it would seem. Like it for me, I don't have to be quite as creative how to get him in my grip. Gotcha. So that way he'll be convinced to join. Oh, what's my health? I'm fine. If I start being poor, then I'm gonna have no choice but to kill him. And since I have her on hook, that's just in case when she becomes the kind of in the area. And then we'll be able to help out. But it's not gonna help much. As far as I'm concerned. Still waiting. Discovered Evolved Prerogative. Here is the High Medieval Innovations, but let's finish with the this one first. Thirteen years? Six years. Actually, go for battlements first. Men and Arm Maintenance Reduction would be good. That's not the way to do it. It's a wonder how... It's like I could have become Catholic around this time period right now, but no, we're focused on wrapping up this little thing that was messed up by the previous suit regarding succession. Like, we only had elective on the Imperial title, not the Khanate. Prison Feudal Complex. A fine book about books is destroyed. I'm still waiting. I mean, god dang, she'll probably be... 25 by then. Regular habits. My agents have noticed that my husband, the lewd cog and tailed uh, seems to have fairly regular habits. If these could be observed, they could also be the key to the breakthrough. I do not want to reduce my secrecy of any cause. It's too big a risk. He might notice that he's being watched. He has some intrigue skill. Not by a lot. Oh, God, dog it. Had it on him. We only have one agent. Which is good enough for me, but... You could still convince this one, but... I'd rather. At least he hasn't done anything stupid regarding giving titles away to some people who don't do deserve it. I'm not gonna end this episode until he is dead. And it's also not until she has valued more like courtier, just for further improvement. Ah crud. It's for the fabricator hook. He's a spy master after all, is he not? Yes.
That's probably not gonna help. To convince you. Not here to kill you. Oh. You should also sway him as well. Poetry. Conflict in Kunzuko. Where other women speak silvered words, our heroine herself in iron girds will let none challenge a bold attempt, lest they discover where the last challenger went. So far, I kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. It's heartfelt. I'll give him that. Another agent is joined. Yeah, we're reducing our court grandeur because we're trying to reduce the amount of cost that we have now. Keep pushing it back. Surprise has discovered. She's worse than disease. Um, she's ill, but do not worry. She'll be better. He's joined. A flesh wound. A pool of blood is congealing under defeat of Sendil. A diplomat sent by my ally, Kagan Tiradin. By an immense quantity soaked up on my fine carpet, I can only assume he has been bleeding on this spot for hours, if not longer. My apologies for this mess. I was disfenestrated by a dwarf trying to rob me in an inn for my journey to Visegrad. However, as a rap scout cushion my fall, our diplomatic visit can continue. It will still be days until my blood loss is fatal. My goodness. We can talk now, but your liege is paying for my carpet. Don't be annoyed with this. There's a reason why I sit on this stroll while you be squatting. May not see each other eye to eye, but he doesn't know what I'm gonna do. And he just died. <laughs> that man that we just met. Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Died of heart failure. And this new patriarch does not endorse me, and he. Oh, God, he's terrible, but. I'm still gonna have to sway him. If you want the endorsement, you'll get some some of the uh, income in both levies and taxes. A cog in a scare. A local mystic or dubious moss and a fabricated omen. Perfect. Before the mystic leaves the cogitude in its court, for there is one question. Will my false omen be one of fortune or of doom? A good omen is to lull him with false security. Make him feel comfortable and all that. Yes, he dislikes me very much. I broke up with him, refused, annoyed him, but he's intimidated of me. Once again, these erotic fantasies I'm having back in my younger years. I will bite my lip and try to stay focused. That's not the way to do it, no. Scandalous priest. I know he's a bad man, but he's deceitful. Condemn him for his transgressions. Oh, well, crud. I am very, very sorry. But I'll tell you what I'm not sorry for. This one. I'm gonna murder him as well. Although I could request that divorce, but no. Murder is much more preferable. Everybody wants to murder the pagan. A 
All I can say, you foolish girl, you should have listened to me. Assassin. The time has come. My agents are in place. One of them pay the assassin. The very night the deed will happen. Another will ensure the walls unguarded. The third will leave self trail accounts to fetch him. Not ready. Keep pushing it back. Not yet. We still got the good people on board. That's ah, alright. Intriguing prospect. It's come to attention, my lady, that you might be in need of some of my talents. My new acquaintance, um, I assume, approaches me smiling. If my service could be of some use, please do not hesitate to request it. Yeah, I might have some use for you. Stick around. Oh, there it is. At age 25, it took you a while, but you got it. Valued Warlike Courtier. You can fight just as fine in the martial lifestyle as much as you do with intrigue. This is why you are perfectly qualified to run the Cogony. Now it's time to move in. To murder my cousin and husband. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way, the poison has been acquired, and a duck was gifted to Cogatira Din alone. It will be rubbed with the poison, and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Bon appetit, Tira Din. The poison did its job. Tira Din is no more. <laughs> it also means none of my agents are under suspicion, which says no one can trace the poison back to me. Must have been something he ate. And I lose the stress because I am sadistic like that. Impregnated you. If that child is not born a genius, well, don't, do not worry. But you won't be able to see him again because that man is evil belongs to an evil pig in faith, and all the agents are there. Oh, and one little thing. Pay those taxes to me, just to reduce that. Aren't I trying to sway them already? Yeah, yeah. My health is poor, but I'll be all right. I'll probably pass away sooner rather than later. So Katyarika will begin her room soon. So now I have the torture trait. Which, what that is, is just increases more prowess, dread gain a little faster, hostile skin resistance, and a little bit of a levy size, which, which I don't think that would be good, but... Just well focused for now. Just to try to reduce it a little. But you can always ask your ecumenical patriarch. But I don't think he likes me. Which is, of course, rather understandable. My agents got scheduled a journey for Lavroas, which would take him to Dark Woods. All that is missing is a band of thugs that will tragically slay him in the highway I'll be gone long. I can already imagine blood seeping to the dark zone. Oh, the woods can be such a dangerous place. The thugs did their job, and the con is no more. <laughs> As the travel party stopped the camp for the evening, bandits far off among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. He was tragically, uh, he was tragically slain in the mirror. The bandits are now hunted by all, and no one suspects my involvement. Perhaps commoners are not so useless after all. Click to forbid. Click 
click to allow. For now on, you will marry who I want you to marry. But what of the child? Is he going to be born a genius? That is the question. As stated before, my work here is done. Who's that? Quick minded. Well, whenever you have a son in the future, whenever you find your next spouse, I'll be there with you. At least you'll be able to hurt somebody just to make up for what I'm losing. But I'll pass away sooner or later. Exotic arms. Along with their strange goods, merchants bring tall tales from distance, unverifiable, full of wonder. A group of Lombard peddlers have brought board paw objects, said to have come from a faraway court of the Great Ruin. Guillermo Chua of Good. No less. And some, the leading trend grin targeting. I've seen your rat and I of our spear. Part with it I will give you this one of a kind armor. If only I had someone to verify the hawker's story. What tribe out with you? Oh my goodness! Liberty War. I would love to help you. But it's only a Liberty Wars. So that involves Crown Authority. No need to worry about that. Her throne is not in danger. Just only her pride. Located in Colon, so she is leading an army. Yes, she is. You've raised a fine daughter. That's what I would ask myself. You have raised a fine daughter. And there's another battle. She is winning. She does have what it takes, even though she's got a bit of a lower prowess, but that could be improved upon. That's why I think that she would be the perfect heir to the Cognate. She's chasing the enemies out of there, fighting on the hills. The advantage may go to them. And she brought him down again. I told you, she's the right one for the job. Yeah, you may resent me because you're not a member of the council yet. She doesn't know that I killed her husband because he's a threat, potentially, to me. Now she's going to start besieging. <laughs> Seems my time will be coming soon. Very good. While out and about in my round, I spot a commoner huddled over a bush. I approach her, curious, and see that she is examining some berries in the bush. Ah, forgive me for not noticing you, my lady, she says, before greeting me closely. She has a friendly-looking, middle-aged woman with graying hair with a toothy grin. Just to have your important business take her. My, 
important work today is I'm on a hunt for some berries. Are those poisonous berries, I ask? They don't look any of it. Oh, yes, but we care what these should not be eaten, but well, those over there, they are fine. Very good for pastries. Very good talk. So recently talking to someone knowledgeable about wild berries. Which ones to eat, which ones not to, and where to find them. Talk very serious well before we part ways. Well, it seems now numbers are against her. But she isn't going to go down without a fight. In fact, she just did. She got captured. Which can't be good on her record, but still, you do have what it takes. My loyal daughter and heir has been released from prison in the hands of Count Togan is once again free. Imprisonment is a cruelty, I say. Hope you learned your lesson. And all that prestige loss, one of these days, you're gonna make up for it. Too bad I can't attempt a suicide. I would love to go on a pilgrimage if I had some income, but that's not possible. Just wait for your impending death, alright? So, in actuality, we will end this episode on the very beginning of 1066 AD, because it's one of the start dates. have some prestige with me. So we will end that episode on the beginning of 1066. There we go. So with that ladies and gentlemen we'll leave you with this. Even though it may not look like we're expanding our borders very much but that's only because we're focused on here and only here. Well, Katyarika, who will soon be, well, oh good, she's into Skullduggery. That's good to know. She can fabricate for hooks, she can learn her, dig for dirt. And the, at least she understands some of, of that intrigue, but when she becomes the Katun, she's got to get into Marshall. I could see her going for chivalry. Because yeah, I could see her as a warrior woman, fighting against, you know, battles such as Serbia for Pozza Bosnia and Thessalonica for Ragusa. And a few other things that would be considered threats to the, um, the threats to this cognate. Because we know there are forces within that would love to bring me down, but they do not have the guts. Because they're all afraid of me. I'm not exactly a transitional Katun, but because, again, to me, she is more qualified than I in terms of all roundness. But at least anything that would help out the reduction of men in arms. Anything that would help out well. And she does fight well in the winter when that time comes. So we hope you people have enjoyed this episode. So in the next episode, we'll, um, whenever she passes away as the help is poor and uh, as I'm deliberately getting you know, older, while, while she's still in the prime of her life, and as soon as she becomes the cartoon, she must marry the right husband for her. That would be beneficial to the Kunzakal Kaganate as a whole. And nothing more. See you in the next episode. Until then, so long for now.